Hey guys, it's Andrew from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home and I have one more video that I wanted to share with you guys um, before I take a little bit of a break for uh, Christmas and New Year's. And I thought it would be fun um, to share three recipes with you guys that have only three ingredients. So if you're getting together with friends and family for the holidays and you need some easy go-to um, recipes either for gifts or for get-togethers or parties, I have three that I would love to share with you that I have been making for years now. And um, they're simple to throw together and perfect for a crowd. So the first recipe that I wanna share with you is a eggnog punch recipe. And this is something that my husband and I serve every single year whenever my whole family comes over for Christmas. Um, I have uh, three siblings, so there's four of us total, and each one of us hosts a Christmas get-together at our house leading up to Christmas. And so um, I always have a big bowl of eggnog punch, and basically all it is is a carton of eggnog and then a two liter of Sprite or 7-Up and then vanilla ice cream. And you put all of those into a bowl and stir them up and it is the most delicious Christmas punch and it is so delicious. I love eggnog but it's very rich and there's something about mixing it with that Sprite or 7-Up that just lightens it up and makes it so tasty. So you guys have to try this recipe. Um, the next recipe that I want to share with you guys is um, one that we always serve whenever we're having a lot of people over and I'll make a bunch of different appetizers. I'll do ham, uh, ham roll-ups and a shrimp ring and cheese and crackers, but I always like to cut up either kielbasa or smoked sausage, one or the other. It doesn't matter what kind or brand, whatever. You just slice it up thin. I like to slice it kind of on an angle um, to make it look a little nicer. And then you throw it all into a crock pot. You can do this in your oven too, but it just stays nice and warm in the crock pot. And you just, there really is no recipe to this. You just sprinkle brown sugar over the top and some onion flakes and just let it kind of get sticky and caramelize and it's a perfect appetizer. It's a perfect dish for a party. People can grab it and eat it with toothpicks and it is so delicious and it's something that I always have whenever we have our big get together for Christmas. So you've gotta try that one for something savory. And then the last one that I want to leave you guys with is a three ingredient fudge recipe. And this recipe, again, so simple. You can make it either in the microwave or you can do like a double boiler method and use a glass bowl over some simmering hot water. We still don't have a microwave. <laughs> we have gone six months without a microwave. And at this point, I feel like we're not gonna buy one because we just haven't had to use it. We just reheat leftovers in the oven. But you could totally make this fudge in the microwave if you want. Just keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't burn. So all it is is three cups of semi-sweet or milk chocolate chips, whatever you prefer, and then a small can of sweetened condensed milk, and then four tablespoons of butter, half a stick. And you just melt those, again, either in the microwave or on the stove top, whatever you prefer. Melt them all together, stir them uh, really, really well so that all the ingredients incorporate, and then you pour it into a, a greased eight by eight uh, um, dish. I have just a little glass dish um, and then you let it cool and sometimes I'll stick it in the fridge so that it'll cool faster um, but you just cut it up into little squares and it is the most delicious fudge and it's just one of the easiest recipes and something I can always throw together for a holiday party. So what I'll do for you guys is put the recipes below, but I have an actual blog post where I share the fudge recipe, and I have some photos for ideas for you. If you would like to give this fudge out to neighbors and friends, maybe you just need like a last minute easy gift idea. I bought the cutest little uh, packages, um, like brown boxes from Walmart, but they had all different kinds. They had little white ones and little baggies, however you want to package it up. And so I bought these little uh, brown boxes and I filled them with some uh, like filler, that paper 
crinkly filler <laughs> and then put my fudge inside and wrapped it up with a ribbon and I made a little printable for you guys with the recipe on it so that you can cut it out and give it to family and friends if you want to maybe you want to keep the recipe a secret so they think that you <laughs> worked really hard over this fudge but um, if you'd like I made this cute little old-fashioned label you don't have to enter your email or anything it's just right there in the blog post you can download it um, right to your phone or to your laptop however you want to download it and then um, cut them out and make these cute little tags for your neighbors and friends and it's such an easy gift and something that you can really whip up fast so I will put the link to that post for you as well but I really just love simple recipes around the holidays I love an abundance of food and an abundance of appetizers and so the more simple the better at this stage of my life I love to cook and bake I really do and we've been baking lots of cookies and we plan to bake a whole lot more but with appetizers for parties, I just like to keep it really simple and I think that um, these recipes are worth sharing with you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you have any super simple recipes or maybe a different take on one of the ones I shared, please let me know. I'd love to, um, I'd, I'd love to hear from you guys. So I just want to take a moment to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. What a year it's been. Um, I'm just so thankful for all of you and I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be able to share, uh, just, just to share my home with you guys and uh, just to be able to be creative and share that with you all. It just, it blesses my heart more than you know. And so I hope you guys enjoy these recipes. And if you use them, I'd love for you to tag me over on Instagram or um, Facebook. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.